Okay, how we doing folks? Wednesday, May 18th, 2016. Right now, this is a message for my Celtics fans, my fellow Celtics fans. We're looking at the number three pick, what the Celtics should do with it, you know, what players are, you know, the best fit, all those things. So, um, obviously, you know, there's disappointment. You don't move up in the draft. A lot of people are excited that they didn't fall, but um, the number three pick, to me, only has much value if you either trade the pick or trade other players that you currently have on the roster because at this point uh you know people are really in love with buddy healed and i'm in love with buddy healed too i think buddy healed is the best player in the draft i like him more than ben simmons and brandon ingram you know an established guy a guy who can score on the outside but the celtics are simply way too loaded at the guard position you know, they already have Isaiah Thomas. They have Avery Bradley who will be coming back. Marcus Smart, who is supposed to be a star in the making. Uh, guys like James Young, who is clearly a bust, but, you know, you have to then do something with them. RJ Hunter, Terry Rozier, all these guys you drafted next year. To draft another guard, uh, you're really, you know, going to be in trouble. And you may, you know, reassign Evan Turner, who can play forward, but... Uh, even if they don't re-sign Evan Turner, there's talks they'll draft Denzel Valentine, who is basically the same player as Evan Turner in a later round. So I've been pretty clear on what I've wanted the Celtics to do with this pick. Uh, even before it became the third pick, I would trade it for DeMarcus Cousins you know, or Paul George or any established star um, because... While I feel Heald is better than Ingram and Simmons, the Celtics, like I said, don't need another guard. You're not going to be at 1-2, and two, so you need a big man. Now, could you try to maybe trade guys like Avery Bradley? Marcus Smart becomes very interesting because I, you know, I would have gotten rid of Marcus Smart by now had he not shown that it looks like he's coming along in the playoffs if he can stay healthy i think marcus smart may finally develop into the player everyone hopes so as of right now i would hold on to marcus smart but could you trade an avery bradley or jay crowder another position a uh, small forward they really don't need to draft another guy because they have jay crowder already with this third pick it has to be a, a guy who's gonna start get big minutes and get big numbers for this team or you have to trade it into a, a player who's going to do that for you you know all this talk about well they're acquiring assets 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 look at what some of these assets have become kelly olenic not doing much james young a boss marcus smart we'll have to see next year is really the make or break year for him rj hunter uh you know didn't really get many minutes terry rozier showed you know he's an athletic guy um, but to me, he's still only a bench player until he can develop offense. Uh, Jordan Mickey, you know, not doing anything. So you have all these assets. It's now time to start getting an established guy. The Celtics won 48 games last year, improved by eight wins. You'd figure if they can get a solid player, they could, you know, there's no reason to assume that they can't win 55 games next year if they were to get a Cousins or a Paul George, however it works. But you've You've got to do something with this pick other than just draft Buddy Hill and add him to the roster that you already have. It's not going to work out because then what are you going to do with Avery Bradley? Then what are you going to do with Marcus Smart if these guys are still on the team? And like I said, if they were to trade Marcus Smart, I probably wouldn't be too disappointed. But as of now, I think you've got to you know, really go into this year and keep him and allow him to, to at least show himself this year. Um, cause I, like I said, I saw how well he played in the playoffs. I thought he was really developing something, something, and he's really on to something. Avery Bradley should have trade value. This is a guy with a decent offensive game and an elite defender. You know, can, can you get a Paul George for him? Uh, frankly, I would trade all three of these picks for DeMarcus Cousins. You know, the, whatever the 16 and the 23rd or whatever pick the Celtics have, they're really not. They're just not valuable. We've seen what those picks are. They're James Young's. They're Kelly Olynyk's. They're R.J. Hunter's. So, you know, we'll we'll see what happens. But this pick has got to turn into serious value. Whether it's another player, uh, you know, an established player, or or what. Or I know Celtics fans don't like to hear this. Could you move a Bradley, uh, move a Marcus Smart, uh, for and maybe one of the later round picks? for a Paul George, sign Dwight Howard, get the rim protection, because you need rim protection, and I don't 
care what people say about Dwight Howard. He's a valuable upgrade as far as protecting the rim and rebounding the basketball. And then you draft Buddy Hill. Then I think the Celtics could be a very formidable team and certainly challenge anyone at that point. Maybe maybe not a team like Golden State, but I think they would be very close to a, a championship contending team if they were to do something like that. But it, it has to turn into something good, and you've got to negotiate the roster if you're going to take Buddy Heald. It's really that simple. So I just wanted to give you all that uh, little message to my fellow Celtics fans. Leave love, leave hate. Uh, who cares? You know, I, I welcome all the comments. So just, you know, watch it and let me know what you think. I appreciate that very much, and we'll see you later in the night. Thank you.